I'm Ebony Zebony, and my husband and I had a trip to Japan for cherry blossom season for March 19, and we cancelled at the 11th hour, and it was devastating. So I had to find some positive things about our trip being delayed, other than avoiding traveling with the coronavirus flying around. We're lucky enough to have been to Japan before, but that just makes it even more devastating because we know how amazing Japan is. It's a, it's a strange and gut-wrenching thing to cancel an overseas trip. You know, you've planned, you've researched, you've saved all your pennies, but the world is in an unprecedented uh, situation for our modern times. So I guess that's just what it is. It sucks. <laughs> Before I get into my five positive things about our trip being delayed, here's some reasons why Japan is amazing to travel in autumn. This is the time we're hoping to rebook our trip for later in the year, provided that the coronavirus has chilled out and things have slightly returned back to normal. But who knows, it's way too soon to be making any sort of solid plans, but you have to have dreams. Me, I'm dreaming of Japanese food. My husband and I went on a trip to Japan for our honeymoon in autumn and then a couple years later I went back on a solo trip in autumn because I loved it so much. And also I promised hubby I'd wait for him to see cherry blossom season so. The autumn colours are beautiful. They're just radiant. It's just crazy. I love, I love, love, love them. The cooler weather is a great time to walk around and not feel uncomfortable. I, I don't fancy travelling to places when they're hot. I don't... I don't do that hot and sticky thing. It's just so autumn in Japan, amazing. My Aussie husband walked around in like shorts and a t-shirt and I walked around in like a singlet and like some thin pants and it was great. Japan crushes the autumn thing like the Hulk crushes Loki. And let's be honest, Japan just crushes anything they set their mind to anyway. They love it and they do it very, very well. Halloween. Halloween in Japan is hilarious. I've been to uh, Dontonburi, Osaka, where they've got their main bridge and they jump off into the water. And I did mention it's autumn, right? It, it must be freezing. And I've also been to Shibuya in Tokyo, the crossing. Type in Shibuya Halloween crossing. It is mental, mental. Would I go back? Yes, but would I prepare and do it very differently and not get stuck on the side of like the road near a bus station because you literally can't walk anywhere or if you do you get pushed along yeah yeah I would. last time i was in tokyo i went to an awesome uh festival that's in autumn called tori no ichi And I also went to a ramen festival in Tokyo. <laughs> I probably should have allowed more time because they don't they don't like make the bowls small. It's just normal size servings and very full, very full, but very fun. Autumn seems to have less tourists from what I've understood from other YouTubers. Although maybe not this year, because maybe everyone who was supposed to go to a trip might end up having a trip later down the road. I don't know. I still like it though. And, not seasonally, Japanese food is amazing all year round, all year round. So you will never be disappointed. So with those general reasons why Japan is amazing to travel to in autumn, here's my five positive reasons to take away from our trip being delayed. I made nine goals for myself this year. You can check my video 2020 resolutions. And one of which was to take a level five, the lowest Japanese proficiency test, because I've, I've been wanting to study Japanese for a long time since I left uni and, and really pick up my game. And you know, when you don't have anything you're working specifically towards, it can be hard. So I thought if I made the goal of actually having to take a test, it might give me some encouragement. So with our trip being delayed, it means that I'll have more time to study up for the test, which hopefully means I'll have improved my general Japanese before we go on our trip. So 
I can use it more fluently instead of the like the broken way I am now. So that is a positive. I will hopefully be better able to communicate and use it more and and also be able to communicate with our um, what I call our Japanese family over there as well. Because we're delaying our trip, it means that I'll have more leave. So we can actually extend the amount of time we go to Japan. Yeah! That's definitely not a negative. That's definitely a positive. I'm very happy about that. I can do more research and planning for videos I want to make. So I did make a list of videos I want to make and some like rough ideas, but it wasn't very well thought out and it had been a little bit last minute. So now hopefully I can plan them out in much more detail so that when we go in autumn, cross fingers, it'll be much quicker to film and I won't have to faff about because I'll know exactly what I'm doing. One of my goals this year was to lose weight. I've done it before, but I had a pretty messy kind of year last year and I was sick in a few different ways actually. Um, so hopefully by the time we go to Japan later in the year, I will have had more time to focus on changing my eating habits and my exercising habits. And not only will I feel physically better, but I'll hopefully be happier with how I look on camera as well and in photos. And this might seem silly. <laughs> And probably is. And you know when there's something about you or your body that you notice but no one else is looking at? Another on-camera thing, I have been a little bit mean to my hair with lots of different colour changes over the last few months. Every now and then I get this pang. And I feel like I've got – no, I don't feel. I know. I know I've got little wispies and there's like short little bits that have snapped off. So that's the end of this piece of hair. So anyway, and I feel like it was going to look horrible on camera, although I don't even think you can see it right now. But anyway, so that's just one of those things that that for me it would be nicer down the track to have healthier hair, happier hair, happier ebony. It's small, but it's still a positive. And at the moment in this day and age, we have to hold on to all those positives, big or small. So as much as delaying our trip sucks, the world is in turmoil at the moment. Human nature affected by fear can be a powerful thing, but I just hope that people can take a breath and calm down and help those around them in the coming months when they realize that it's okay, we just need to do what we need to do to get through. Anyway, if you made it to the end, thank you very much. Life's short and don't be afraid to be who you are. Thanks for watching.